Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with your girl Polly Girl Budgets NZ. Let's do this. For you that are new here, welcome. Welcome to Polly Budgets World. If you keep coming back because you're loyal, thank you so much besties. I really, really appreciate it. And if you randomly clicked on because you wanted to see what the buzz is about, I hope you find something beneficial in this video. Today's video is going to be a cash stuffing. For you who are new here, my name is Kay. I am from Aotearoa, New Zealand. I am a Polynesian girl who is 30, trying to relearn money again. I get paid fortnightly on a Wednesday. By Friday, I'm either broke, about to be broke, or barely making it through. I've taken up cash stuffing as a way to plan my financial expenses, but also because I wanted to see if it will work for me. I've gone live with my journey because cash stuffing you don't really see here in New Zealand. I wanted to share my experiences. As somebody trying to budget in New Zealand, I know there's a lot of content from people outside of New Zealand, especially from UK and America. However, I found that my struggles were completely different. They ran along the same lines, but just my experiences and how I was handling money was just a completely different story. So I decided to go live with my journey just to see if I could help anybody else look at cash stuffing. Since I've taken this up in April, I have found it extremely beneficial. It does come with sacrifice and it does come with a lot of time and effort, just like anything else that you want to invest into. But I have found it in the long run and overall very beneficial, especially to my financial situation. Um, if you guys are also new here, I tend to talk a lot. I'm so sorry. In the most part, I do like to talk because talking and sharing experiences is how we learn off each other. So if this sounds like a video that you may be interested in, stay tuned and if you want to see more content like this if you want to hear the stories um and just me talking about my life uh why don't you go ahead and subscribe by clicking that button down below and if you want to check out any of my social media platforms just in the description box down below i've got my book and i have already written down my categories and what i'm going to be cash stuffing i'm going to be putting this on the site as per normal to start us off we are going to be counting up our money the amount that I'm going to be cash stuffing is a lot more than what I would normally cash stuff. So I classify myself as a low cash stuffer. Um, I don't say low income because I know I do receive what would be about the medium in New Zealand. However, after all my bills and stuff like that, I'm left with not a lot to work with over a two week period. I do want to talk about the amount that I'm cash stuffing today. When I first looked at cash stuffing, I felt a little bit disheartened because everybody who I was watching, especially in America, they would normally cash stuff about like eight to nine hundred dollars. Um, and even if they were cash stuffing 400 that was their side money. That wasn't even their main income. This amount that I'm going to cash stuff it is definitely way more than what I would normally cash stuff. Now the reason being, my partner has given me money to put in his folder. I'm not going to count because technically it's not my money. I am just holding it for him. So that is 250 51 52 250 so I'm just going to put this over here. We're going to put in the envelope. This amount is money that I've worked hard for. I sold a couple of things on Facebook Marketplace. I also got a bit of money from the funerals because the person that I was named after. Um, I also saw a bit of family that, you know, especially the old ones, they try and slip you like, you know, $10. Um, my uncle gave me $20, told me to go buy a Happy Meal. This is a combination of what I had left over from income, selling items, and also just money from family. I think this is normally two lots of what I would normally cash stuff. I normally don't have this much money. Um, so we're definitely going to make sure that we're utilizing this, making sure that we locate money where it needs to be. But in saying that, please, please do not feel disheartened because this is way above the what I normally cash stuff. What I've learned along this journey is cash stuff what you can. There's no point of you putting this money into envelopes that you know you're just going to take out of. There's a purpose for the envelopes. There's a purpose for each dollar you have in front of you. You work hard for this money. When I first started cash stuffing, I learned that, okay, I'm spending too much money here and here and here. And over time, you know, this is the fruitfulness of budgeting and looking at your money and following your money. So please, guys, do not feel like cash stuffing is not for you because you don't get this much money in hand. Just count and make sure we've got the right amount. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So we have got 450 that we're going to be working with today. How is everyone? I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support that I received while I was busy with um, family and just you know getting sick and everything else i just want to thank you so much because i was still receiving lovely um messages and still receiving you know a lot of love even though i wasn't really active on my platforms um 
I really do appreciate the love and support, especially from my New Zealand supporters. I know I have got, you know, people from um, other parts of the world, but it's really important for me because representation does mean a lot to me. And it means so much that I have a fellow Kiwis coming forward to me and asking me all these questions and just knowing that they have a space that they don't need to justify why they're asking cash stuff in questions or budgeting questions. So uh, to my fellow Kiwis, thank you so much uh, for trusting me with your questions, but also feeling like you have a space to come and ask these questions. So I really appreciate it. And I hope we continue journeying together um, and building community. Uh, New Zealand does have quite a few um, cash budgeters already. Um, the Sarah Echo Budget and also Joy Ninja are two New Zealand cash stuffers and budgeters that I do follow and I love their content. If you guys want to check them out, but without further ado, let's get into it. As always, we are going to start off with our cash envelopes and we're just going to open this up. I also got questions about my Motorm again. If you are going to Google this, Google Motorm A7 Wallet. Let's get into this. Now, I knew that I did have money left over and the only reason why is because I took my partner's coins. I leave coins in the car. I, for one, do not. I like leaving it in my wallet and stuff. And that's the only reason why, because I asked him for all his coins. He really didn't give myself anything. It was a tough week as well. So, cheers. Thank you for the coins. And we're just going to put these fives in the five dollar jar. I normally don't have a lot of cash rolled over from my fortnight before. That is those done. Moved them out. This week, food is getting nothing. Petrol is going to get $20. I did just finish topping this up. So let's see if the $20 is needed. Personal this week is going to be getting $15. How is everybody? How has everything been? A 10 and a 5. Has anybody got any summer plans already? It's so fast how we're moving out of winter. But New Zealand's working backwards because it's been raining real bad the last couple of weeks eating out is going to be getting $15 as well yeah we'll put it in the 10 out of 5 again so I hope everyone's been well though and so that is pretty much the wallet all done I am still being very mindful even though I've got more money to cash stuff this week I still don't want to go crazy with it and allocate it to areas where I don't need it I'm not planning for so, and if you haven't seen my new video on my new binders it is up now on uh, YouTube so I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but if not, you can find it in my videos. So we are first going to go in with our extension of our main wallet. I'm sorry guys if you can't hear me, it's actually raining right now while I'm trying to film this. So today groceries is going to be getting $30. I'm really excited to see how these laminated envelopes are going to do. And I'm so sorry guys, I know I tend to talk a lot, I just find it really awkward when I'm sitting here really quiet. So I start talking about things that obviously you guys don't don't want to know about but here's me sharing away um so little ladies today is going to be getting 30 dollars. so let's put in a 20 and a 10 so now they have got 20 40 50 so um i get this question quite a lot what's the purpose of saving so the purpose of saving or cash stuffing is that instead of having to pay x amount when you get paid you would have saved up over a duration so that when when it's due you already have allocated money for it for example if you had to pay off your netflix account your Netflix account was sitting at $60, instead of paying a $60 chunk when you get paid, you can create an envelope that says Netflix, save up $20, you know, for a month, or even $10 every week, plan it six weeks out, when it's time to pay, you already have that $60 there, and because you only put aside $10, you won't feel the hit in your bank account. However, if you were to take out that whole $60 straight out from your bank account, you will see the massive chunk there. So that's kind of the whole reason why you budget and you save using these envelope systems. Beauty is going to be getting 15 today. We have an event coming up in September, and I know that I'm going to need a lot of beauty stuff um you know just fresh nails fresh eyelashes all the all the goods uh family time i have got ten dollars now family time going to go 20 30. i've got a couple birthdays coming up as well so this will probably go on to the afters for me and my partner i've allocated us twenty dollars he's been trusting me more with finances because before i tell you he used to be like where's all your pay gone and he would never look at my bank statements but it was more like i'll get paid and then i'll be like oh um can i get this and can i use your card for it and you know and then he'll just be like didn't you just get paid but it was because he did not know about my financial situation how bad it was now that he understands it he's seeing that i'm going through all these binders and these methods and he sees that i'm very dedicated to it he trusts me more of money hence why he's given me some money to put aside for him okay mr wim now mr wim he's not getting anything and home maintenance is going to be getting 15 dollars 
Let's see that all in fives. I have so many fives. I was trying to find fives and now I've got more than enough. One, two, three. That's $15. Okay, guys. And now we are going to move on to our high priority binder. I am very excited for it. It's got a lot of new things in it. Okay, so starting off, Dear Snowball. Now, I am very happy to say that I've already paid off $60 towards this. And I will put up the screenshots right now. Because I do want to create a placeholder and put it in here just so that I know how much I've put towards it. The utilities today is going to be getting $20. So we have $20, $40, $60 in here now. Sometimes when I, um, if I want to pay utilities right out of my account, I'll pay it out of my bank account and then I'll just move this money out. So it'll kind of be like I'm paying myself back, but instead of doing the whole taking it out, putting it back in the account, I'll just pay out of my bank account and then I'll take this and I'll allocate this to the envelope which the money in the bank account should have gone to. I really hope I didn't just confuse you guys with that. If you guys want me to do a breakdown, I will. Um, family home, so this is going to be getting $20 today and let's put it in 10s and 2 fives. If my mom calls me that she needs something, this is generally where I take it out of. Car maintenance, woohoo! So this one, I have actually got a challenge for. So my car is already fully regged, woof, and it's got its service. I have got this car maintenance challenge. What I love about it is that on weeks where money is tight, you have small amounts like this $5 or this $8 that you can pay towards your car maintenance. Or if you have weeks where you have a lot of money left over, you can pay the bigger amounts like 28 30 or the 52 So doing it this way, I find, would really help me because I can always contribute to this no matter what. So this week, I have allocated $15 this week to car maintenance. Let's do a 10 and a 5. Do red. So we're going to do red. Bring out this one fifteen dollars here because I've already got my car to scratch. This is just me future future planning for maintenance work. So that is what we're doing. We're putting the first fifteen dollars in here. But this is for my business if I need anything for polygirl budgets. And that one today is only gonna be getting ten dollars. I think I'm pretty up to date with everything, but it's just in case. Cash emergencies today is gonna be getting fifteen. Oh, it's, can you hear that rain? So emergency funds. I've actually created a little challenge for it. And this is what it looks like. So each dollar bill is worth $25. At the end of this, you would have saved $500. So let me see how much you got. 50, 60, 70, 80. And then the 20. I leave the $5 out. Should be 100 now. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And I'm going to color in four of these. And seeing $25, is, it doesn't seem as harsh as $50 for me. So this is just me being realistic with what I can do and what I can stick to. Savings today is going to get $30. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180. Okay guys, this is my partner's envelope. It's got 51, 52, 50. So this is going into his... I don't really know if it's going to be savings exactly. Um, I think this is more kind of like his emergency if he needs money for family things. He gets paid once a month. So it does make it a little bit hard with him and the way he budgets his money, especially with unexpected events. So I think this money is just going to sit here for those unexpected events. Hey everyone, I'm so sorry I had to change over to voiceover because... It wouldn't let me download with all my audio. So anyway, carrying on. So we've got our winter mini challenge. And this one's going to get 30. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 65. So this one now has 165. We've got four more fireplaces left. So I'll definitely be able to smash this out before our next cash stuffing. Um, and saying that, guys, I have my new challenge, my new season challenge which was my hello spring challenge um i just got that one ready i just wanted to get it ready and put it in here all set up for when that does happen okay poly girl budget so this is getting a five today and honestly guys the good thing about this challenge is that there's really no time frame there's no pressure me and my family were talking about maybe putting one inside with a jar and then we could just all contribute to it but yeah we'll see how that goes okay guys next we have our christmas challenge now i know you guys haven't seen this since i pretty much did it a couple um videos ago and the honest truth is i cannot commit to the 84 dollars it's just way out of my budget at the time i have no idea what i was thinking 
but realistically this is way out of my budget the normal weeks where I cash stuff I'll only be able to cash stuff about 200 to 250 84 dollars is a huge chunk out of that so to make life easy on me I've decided to put that to the side I'm going to put $30 towards Christmas today because Christmas is still important but I'm going to look at trying to do a, a little mini challenge that is manageable for me so anyway that's all for this binder guys I'm so sorry that I had to jump in and do a voice um, voiceover it just I've been struggling for days trying to make this work and it just wouldn't let me so on to our sinking funds Okay, so we're jumping in with our subscriptions. Now, our subscriptions that we do have is Netflix, um, Disney, we've cancelled YouTube. Me and my partner actually pay half each. Um, but what we're looking at doing is we're trying to move to an annual subscription, hence this envelope. Uh, we're just slowly saving up so that we are able to pay that off um, once a year and get that discount that it comes with it. So that's what this envelope is in here for. Okay, events is going to get $10 as well. So we got uh, 40 in here now. I just wanted to quickly show you guys my mini calendar that I've got in between my gifts envelope and my events envelope. This is just pretty much a reminder for me just to know what's coming up so I can budget accordingly to it. I've already written in some events that are coming up um, but I can always add to it as time goes on. From here we're going to go to gifts and gifts as always is going to get its $10. So now this has 20 30 40 funeral contributions now as always this is going to get its ten dollars so now this has 30 in it okay last but not least we have health so health is going to get five dollars i am saving up for some vitamins um and i'm wanting some supplements so we'll just see how it goes i haven't really looked at anything um so vacation i have got a lot coming up in october December, January, February. Now, let's not hold our breath because I just watched the news and things don't look that great in terms of um, inflation and just the rise of cost of living. But let's say if we are going to go on vacation, let's put away 15. So I put 15 in there. And now the unplanned is going to get 15 as well. Unplanned is kind of like a miscellaneous, but also can cover things like the MMT games. That is about it. That is all done. Okay, guys, that brings us to the last binder. Thank you so much for sitting through this very long video. I do really appreciate the time that you have spent to watch this. Um, I do hope that you guys learned something from it, especially seeing that even though I did get more money, I wasn't going crazy with it, and I was still being as consistent as I could be to my normal cash stuffing. Thank you for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great week. Stay safe, and I'll see you with another video that will not take weeks and weeks to upload stay safe everyone bye